Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing a review of two new products launched by One Size. If you are familiar with my channel, you will know I am obsessed with One Size's products. There's very few products I've tested, and I've tested a whole ton of their products. Um, there's very few that I have not fallen absolutely in love with. I'm obsessed with their primer. I'm obsessed with their concealer. I'm obsessed with their powder foundation. I really like their liquid liner. I really love the brand. I definitely always have high hopes for their products and I'm very excited about these babies. These are the two cheek palettes for contour slash bronzer and for blush. So if you're interested in either of these, finding out how they apply and how they you know, work and perform, then keep on watching. So I have gone ahead with foundation concealer. Um, primer as well uh, as the first one we're going to be testing is the cheek clapper 3d blush trio i cannot get over patrick stars names for all these things so this is the packaging let's just take a moment i'm always in awe of their packaging um it's very similar to the powder foundation but just pink and this is the actual palette so this is the shade very that so you get a cream blush on top with a little plastic cover, you get a powder matte blush, and then you get a shimmery blush topper. So we're gonna be testing all three formulas today. The reason I'm going ahead with blush first is the second product we're testing, which is called the Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpt Trio, which is again, the bronzer contour palette. Um, again, very similar, even more similar to the powder foundation, um, to die for packaging. I'm obsessed. I love the way these products look. Um, and then this is the inside. They are all powder. So the one thing off the bat I will say is I wish that this came with one cream, just like the blush palette did. I feel like I just love cream contour, <laughs> um, but that's okay because not everybody does and sometimes having powder is really nice as well. But the only, the biggest reason I wish it was is because I want, I usually like to contour first, but because we're gonna be doing cream first for the blush, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some cream blush. We'll see how it, it blends into the skin. And then after setting, we will work with the rest of the powder formulas. Let's just dive right in. I am going to go in with my sponge on one side with the cream and my brush on the other. I'm going to be using my beauty blender and then I'm going to be using my new Huda Beauty face cheek color um, cream blush brush. I have reviewed this recently so I'll link that down below. This is the flex cream which is a versatile cream to underpaint and overpaint which I believe they mean applying it underneath powder and over top of powder. I think think that's what they would mean. So the blush palette is a monochromatic blush trio in versatile textures for a blurring 3D blush effect. So that's nice to see that they, they're they actually claiming it'll work on top of powder, so we will test that today. Ready with my sponge. I have seen a couple people like on TikTok reviewing this and they seem very pigmented. So I'm going in with not too much. Ooh, and I love this shade. It's not as intimidating as I thought it was gonna be. Ooh. Does that not look so pretty? I'm a cream blush fanatic, so this is right up my alley. I'm so glad that there's a cream in here because I love cream blush. It just adds such a nice effect. Gives you that like lit from, or like that from within color. So that is with the Beauty Blender. Does that not look stunning? The shade is so perfect. This is exactly exactly what I like. Um, so I would say it's it's definitely has some warm tones in it. There's not a ton of cool tone options. A lot of them have some warmth in it. I would say Berry Gay is the only really cool tone, and maybe Rich Betch. <laughs> um, these names make me laugh. But Very That was definitely much less like orangey than the Freaky Peach. So. That's why I went with this one, um, but I am definitely glad I went with this one because look at how stunning. Let's go ahead and see how the brush does, if we have a preference. I'm gonna just kind of pat it first, get it placed, and then I will kind of start to buff it in. I will be honest with you, I do prefer the sponge. I just feel like it looks a little bit more airbrush, but that's typical. Um, so I'm gonna go in and just finish that off with the sponge, but it works with the brush for sure. And it did look very beautiful as well. That's just me being 
a girl who prefers the sponge. Um, I think that's good. We don't wanna to look too blush because we're also going to be applying the matte blush. I'm just gonna blend that edge into my concealer a little bit. So I would say I'm very happy with that blush. Also to note that this comes with a really nice size mirror, which I love. It is so beautiful. It soaks into the makeup. It looks just a part of your skin. It gives you a little bit of that like juiced up skin where it just looks so healthy, um, which I find a lot of cream blushes, but it's not super dewy. I'd say it's, it's, a, it's a nice like maybe satin or soft matte finish, but it just looks so healthy because it's cream. So I'm really, 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 really happy with that cream, like A plus so far. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is quickly set my face. Okay, so we're set, it's still looking beautiful. Definitely a little bit diffused once you set it, but that's normal. Still poking through though, and I love it. First, we're going to go in with this stunning, stunning, stunning contour bronzer palette. So this is a matte, buildable, visible, texture blurring trio to shade, bronze, and sculpt your face for a touch of color to a fully contoured look. It has uh, magnolia bark extract to help smooth fine lines and wrinkles. This is the light trio. So it comes in fair, light, medium, medium, dark, deep, and dark. Um, so I got light because I do like, like a good contour. So I didn't want it to be too light. And I also did swatch them in store. So I got a good idea as to which shades I like. So the top one here is, it's called attention needed, but it's supposed to be the shade. So for the shade, shade, <laughs> It is supposed to act as an all over bronzer for like an everyday bronzer. The second one is called bronze. Um, the actual name of this shade is tea drinker. And this is for a warm glow without shimmer. So this is gonna be a more warm toned, um, like bronzy. And then this is sculpt. The actual shade is clock it. And this is to shape and define. The formulas are supposed to leave a silky finish, moisturize and soften the skin and deliver long wear time and grip. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is start with contour. I love the little like patterns too in the powder, I love it. Ooh, that's pigmented, very pigmented. Ooh, look at that pigmentation. That's intense. Wowza. So I don't think I need that much, but like I like the effect it gives. It's very like that sculpted look. So if you're looking for that sculpt, I think this is a really nice shade. Also, like if you are fair like me and you don't want it to be this dark, go with the fair trio because it's going to give a similar effect, but be a bit lighter. But I just love a good sculpt. And it's like, even though it's dark, it doesn't look bad. Do you know what I mean? Like it looks really nice and natural on the skin. It definitely looks like a beautiful finish. It doesn't look dry or powdery. I'm gonna do this up here as well. I'm going to leave the nose and I'm gonna use a lighter shade because I, I find sometimes when I use too dark of a contour on my nose, it looks, it just doesn't look right. This does have some warmth to it for sure. It's not quite as cool toned as I would, like it's not a super, super cool toned shade. It definitely has a bronziness to it. I, I do personally like the shade. If you're a super too cool toned you know, person, then you, then you might want to go into the store and swatch them to see if they suit your skin tone. Wow, I already look so, I'm gonna look so intense. Let's maybe just blend this a little bit. I went a little too heavy considering I still have two more bronzers and <laughs> two more blush products. Ah! So let's go in with the, I wanna see what this does, the Everyday Bronze. And I'm gonna add it as bronzer on the forehead. So we'll see what that kind of does. It's not gonna do a whole lot noticeable because now that we've seen the, the darkest shade, but it's definitely lighter. I can see how it's like blending the two sides together and ooh, yeah, it's definitely, I think blurring. Powders can be more difficult to blend. These are easy to blend and they are almost a little bit blurring. I'm gonna also use the lightest shade here as sometimes I find really dark shades kind of look a little fake on me. This definitely is an everyday shade. I think it's, 
I, I feel like I could get away with using this as a contour if I wanted something really, really like natural. This first one here is the shade. And then the second one here is bronze, which is funny because I feel like, yeah, there's more like red undertones here. Whereas this is more, I don't know. This one here almost has a warmer tone than this one. So I would say that they just kind of go from lightest to darkest. That's just my, my personal. So you can kind of get your own shade. I'm gonna go in with the middle one for the nose. I like that shade too. I really like all the shades. I do feel like you could get away with using any of these shades for kind of anything. The darkest one is obviously gonna give you the most sculpted look and the lightest one's gonna be the most everyday. It makes sense. I do think they all have a bit of warmth to them so you could use them really all kind of as um, bronzer or contour. I think they're kind of a good in between. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. I do really, really like that. Um, I'm not gonna add any more to the cheeks because we still have to go to in with blush and stuff. I'm a little more impressed with the blush palette just because it's got the cream, the matte blush, the shimmery, you know, cheek topper, whereas this is just three shades of matte bronzer. So it's a this is a little more exciting, but the formulas of these are to die for, and that's what makes me so impressed. And let's go in with the cheek palette again. And should we... I feel like I'm gonna be so intense, but we just, we gotta do it. I'm gonna add the tiniest bit of blush just to see if it works over top of powder because sometimes when you do creams over top of powder, um, they can break down the products underneath it. Like they don't blend into powder very well, but this specifically claimed that you could. Oh yeah, you can. So as you can see on the side, I've added the cream blush. It looks just as flawless, it hasn't affected the makeup, it hasn't lifted any coverage off, hasn't made anything go patchy, and it just still looks a part of the makeup, but it's just added a little color. So this powder blush, it's called the Full Impact Matte Shade, uh, blurs and builds intensity. So you could use it as just a powder blush, if you're not a huge fan of creams, or if you're looking for something a little easier, or you can build it you know, on top of the cream afterwards to add more intensity. And that's what we're gonna do today. Ooh, that is more intense than it looks in the pan, but it's beautiful. Beautiful, very beautiful. And that would be even less intense when you use it on its own. So I definitely could see myself using this in combination, building them like this. I could see, I'm loving this effect, but I also could see myself just grabbing this for just the cream blush one day or just for the powder blush one day because the shades individually are stunning as well. Ooh, I love that. I think it definitely builds intensity and it does have that nice blurring effect. All of these products look stunning, flawless, that blurred, really smooth effect on the skin. Make sure everything's looking blended and also to make sure that uh, we're not getting anything too intense. I just wanna kind of settle it down a little bit. We're full glam on the, on the cheeks today. So the last one is called the Hyper Sheen Shade. And this is to get an eye-catching glow and a seamless finish. So I'm gonna go ahead with a, a little bit of a looser brush so that we're not adding too much intensity. It does have color to it, so it's not just like a highlight. I mean, if you had a darker skin tone, it could be a highlight, but for my skin tone, like that's too dark. So it's actually like a blush topper, so, but I'm gonna apply it where I would apply my highlight. And I do like to do this with blush toppers, then you kind of bring it down a little lower than you would, but it just adds that, that sheen that a highlight would. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, and it just almost turns the blush into like a glowy blush. So matte and shimmer. Really pretty, it just gives the most stunning. And I don't even know if I would need, I actually think I could get away with using that as highlight. Like because it's so shimmery, like it's, blush topper but it's also giving me enough shine that I don't know 
and it's not too dark like it's blending in and giving me like a nice golden sheen okay guys so i have finished up my makeup and i'm back to show you the finished look as i've said honestly these shades are stunning um, i'm really happy with the contour palette as i said i think formula is really beautiful silky blendable, pigmented, and does have that nice blurring, smoothing effect. So if you're interested in some new powder, bronzer, contours, then I definitely recommend this guy right here. I definitely love the formulas and I'm happy with the shades in the light palette. Um, they are a little darker than I thought they would be though. So I think I could also get away with the fair one, um, especially if you are a more natural um, person, like if you like more natural look, then if you have fair skin like me, then, you know, I do think the fair is probably going to be dark enough. Um, but I, I'm still really, really happy with that. And I think the, as much as I love that so much, I think the product I'm most impressed with is this guy right here, the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. I'm really impressed with just all three shades, all three formulas. I just think it has so much more um, to, I don't know, to, it's, it's a little more exciting of a product and just the end result is stunning. A plus for both, especially this guy right here. Definitely recommend them both. And I'm really, really happy with, um, the, my experience with them. So I think you guys will love them too. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, give me a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.